Can I help you? Got good shit in stock today. Buzz. Uh, check back later, I guess. I'm here if you need me, man. With this thing. No idea how to fix it. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? All right. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. Wh now turn around. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that. It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh shit, look out! Oh, shit. oh god. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... No, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. I'll... 
I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Here one. No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? Wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, th I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Goddamn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there shut was up, shut up, do. shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's, just scavenging, you know. 
I thought maybe the place wasn't picked over. St. John, this is O'Brien. You know what we found? O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien. Just, would you tell me what you found? Is, is she... Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Deep. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said... Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you? Um, Hold on, I'll get this. The night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal... Clearance levels. Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Deke, hey, when you get time, swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Hey, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be fine. Deacon out. What information, O'Brien? That would you possibly have left to say. But I would give a damn about This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. A war on terror. Global warming. None of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror is just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam. Using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global war? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build up the rest of the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on. folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that... Everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. That's, uh... It's actually... Oh. Vagrants, if they see me, I'm dead.
again. There we go. Fuel. Oh, here we go. Done. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, me again. I know, I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... <sighs> okay, we, uh... Had a run in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out Carlos is actually this two bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you. What happened to Jesse? Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit, so let's just say that some bad shit went down. <laughs> really bad shit. And Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Look, I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because, because uh, I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. And uh, hey, <laughs> you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him. Jesse. I had to. I mean, the guy was a goddamn psychopath. But, uh, we didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we, we blew him up. The Rippers, we blew up their camp. We drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats. And you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth. She'll set you free. Let me tell you. Before this shit, we were numb. And we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds. Keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin, and it worked. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake, and we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us.
us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than... Hey, Deke, how's it going, man? Manny? Yep, always needing fuel. Drifter life. I'll wrap that up for you. Cool. Need anything else? Should have more stuff later. Do you suppose the freakers feel anything? Hey, you'll stop by whenever you need something, Saint John. Right? Hey, Damon. Hell, I don't know. That'll last you. Anything else I can get for you? Come by any time. See ya, Deke. Hey, Deke, how's it going? Hey. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, but like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. Your wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? You don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? 
They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Shit about any of that. Boozer? Booze man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. There's even a chance that she's alive. I... Well... I gotta find her. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Addy need, need help putting up a shelf or some of that damn thing. Look, I, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Trade. 
Raiders. And I assure you... Hey, Ricky. What's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here, when they were hit by a group of drifters. They tracked them back to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take them out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he, if he can use a gun. Then what the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Deke. All right, let's see what the old man's got to say. Hey, I heard. You know? I mean, what you did for us. How you... The Rippers. All of them. I just... I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? Uh, hey, Deke. Be safe. Hey, Deke. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Hey, Ricky. Uh, I, I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? I'm coming back? What, what, do you, what do you mean? Sir, don't less. I told you. Okay, look. There's nothing to tell. There's no way over the stadium pass, you know that. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to do. Deacon out. Drifters here. Can you handle them? Oh, uh, yeah, I got this. Deacon out. Oh, 
los. What, you thought you just set up camp in Lost Lake Territory? Had to run the place? Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. You don't need these? That's it. <laughs> now we just gotta let Ricky know it's done. Uh, Ricky, it's done. I cleared out the camp full of drifters north of Malacqua Lake. <sighs> Thanks, Deke. I'll let Iron Mike know. I'll be sure to let Mitchell know it's safe to play outside again. He's just a kid, Deke. 
Yeah, well, if he wants to live long enough to become an adult, he'd better start learning how to use a gun. Yeah, you're right. I'll start working with him. Thanks, Deke. to be it. This is Lost Lake. Come in. Ricky told me you took care of that drifter camp. North of Malacqua Lake? Hey, yeah, they won't uh, be bothering us anymore. Hey, it's Mike, that Let kid, Mitchell, he really shouldn't be going out on runs unless he can take care of himself. Yeah, God damn it. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Deke. Iron Mike out. Your bike definitely needs some work, man. They can never go wrong with a tuna. I'll be here if you need me. See you around. Hey, Deke. How you been? Blair, you are looking fine today. <sighs> Here you go. Okay, then. Deke, take care now. Hey. Hey, Deacon. 